Hey kids, how's it going? So today we're going to do another little kind of first impression review of some new Black Phoenix Alchemy Labs scents or BPAL, whatever you want to call them. I'm not sponsored by them, they're not sending me these, I just love these. I think it's such a fun, interesting, you know, smells that you've never really smelled before or you have and you're like, oh my god, how do you make that into a perfume? I haven't smelled these at all so I'm excited to smell and let you know what they smell like so I'm gonna do this a little different this time last time I think I gave you an exam or I gave you the scenario and then smelled to see if I could smell those this time I'm going to smell and then tell you what I smell and then tell you what the thing is right okay the first one is erd god I have no idea it smells like Kind of like a flower shop, like when you go into a greenhouse, and not in the floral section, but in just the plant section when you walk in, it smells like that. So let's see what herd. Muscadine, black and red patchouli, Sirius, and Nag Champa. I have no idea. This is supposed to represent fate. I think it's one of the Norse gods, I believe. Tunisian. So, fate here. It's different. It's so hard to pinpoint. I don't think anyone would know what that smell is without reading it on here, obviously. So, it's pretty cool. Envy. Straight off, totally mint. And a little lavender. So this says, green herbs slithering through mint, lime, and lavender. I definitely smell mint and lavender. It's kind of an interesting combination. I don't smell a lot of green, I just smell that real bright, fresh mint smell, and then a touch of lavender. So I'm sure there's lime and herb in there. Now I'm kind of getting a little basil, and I've even closed the lid. The dodo, next. Oh god. It smells like those cinnamon toothpicks when you chew them up. It smells like the flavor when you chew them up. It's Yes, those hot sticks or hot lips. You've seen the ones probably they're, you know, they're just like cinnamon oil soaked pieces of wood. That's what this smells like. So let's see. The dodo is red musk, lemon peel, sugar cane, cassia, white sandalwood, mango, and agarwood. Hmm. With hurricane next. Hmm, hurricane smells good. It's really sharp, kind of like lightning. But there's also just kind of like a sinister, musky sourness to it as well. Hmm, yeah. The dark side of air, a high-pitched, tangy, clear scent, light china rain deepened by murky vetiver. So yeah, like I said, it's like lightning, but like a deeper, darker li lightning. So I like this one, actually. This one I would wear if I was trying to be, like, evil. I had an evil plan I needed to accomplish. I think I would pick up hurricane for deep in the earth or deep in earth. Sometimes you pick scents on there and maybe they don't have samples or maybe it's in a collection that doesn't provide samples so they give you different ones. I'm pretty sure I didn't pick this one out but that's okay. Oh my goodness. A little bit like hotel soap. That kind of florally kind of generic but still smells good kind of soap. It smells like a bath I just had at a hotel recently. It's like this Crabtree and Evelyn soap. It smells almost like... It's just very floral. So it's this says rose, geranium, Spanish moss, Irish hue, and graveyard dirt. It's kind of awesome. Actually, let me put some of this on. I kind of love this. It's really different. Let's see, we'll put it down here. Hopefully far enough away from the dodo. It's very clean, floral. I really don't smell dirt, let alone graveyard dirt. Go for Mad Hatter. Straight up like a York peppermint patty, like a vanilla mint with a little bit of lemon lemoniness. That's odd. Maybe a little tea too. Hmm. 
This says it's a gentleman's lavender citron cologne unhinged by the feral pungence of black musk and the paroxysm of pennyroyal. I don't even know what that means, but it does totally smell like like the inside of a York peppermint pad. You don't smell the chocolate, but there's like that kind of vanilla mint smell. That's Moscow. This smells like like rose to me. It's, it smells like straight up old lady perfume. Like not rose, or it's like musk, like straight out musk. Let's see. A rich bold blend, and rose, I, I guess I was right. A rich bold blend of imperial rose, carnation, lush jasmine, lily of the valley, dark musk, amber, bergamot, and gilded tangerine. I smell no tangerine. But yes, I smell rose and musk. Straight up old lady. I think I mentioned this before, there was a 90 year old house that I used to clean and this smells a lot like her house, except that it smells a lot like dust too, even though I dusted it all the time. How you get so dusty, I don't know, especially when she's in two rooms out of the whole house. Anyway, not digging Moscow. Hopefully the city doesn't really smell like that. I would think it would smell like snow and vodka, but that's just me. Shogun? It smells like lemon lime candy and dill pickles. Oh my god, that is, that is weird. Seriously, smells like... I'm gonna read you the little thing that goes with it. It says, It was a terrible, indescribable thing, vaster than any subway train, a shapeless congery of protoplasmic bubbles, faintly self-luminous, and with myriads of temporary eyes forming and unforming as pustules of greenish light all over the tunnel, filling front all over the tunnel filling front that bore down upon us, crushing the frantic penguins and slithering over the glistening floor that it that it and its kind had swept so evilly free of all litter. What the heck does that mean? And what is that from? I don't know. This says an amorphous, radiant, incandescent scent, ever-changing, protoplasmic and primordial, white amber, green coconut meat, iris, palmarosa, Chinese peony, lime, water lily, snowdrop, mugit, lemongrass, osmanthus, wisteria, glassy musk, and hyanoki. What? God, straight up dill pickle and lime. That is weird. Zombie. I love everything zombie. I love zombies. <sighs> it smells like if you cleaned your house with lemon pledge and then let a thunderstorm come inside. That is the best way I can describe it. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes any sense. Let's see what's, what it says here. Dried roses, rose leaf, Spanish moss, oak moss, and deep brown earth. Let's go for fae next and kind of go on the opposite end of the spectrum. Fairies and zombies. Oh god, that is super sweet. It smells like peach tea or peach crystal light. There's a lot of peach in there. Let's see what this says. A brilliant ethereal scent, white musk, bergamot, heliotrope, peach, and oak moss. Yeah, I smell a lot of peach. Really? Actually, it smells like fruit punch. Like... Like Kool-Aid fruit punch. Yeah, it smells like fruit punch on me. Okay, let's go for this one. This is Blue Fire from the Atomic Luau Lounge. Oh my god, that smells good. That smells like a drink you want to just... Ugh, it smells like pineapple and... Banana and, like, gin, maybe. Let's see. Papaya, blueberry, lemongrass, and gin. 
Yeah, oh god, that smells good. Seriously, I want to have one of those big, huge blue, like, fishbowl drinks. Shattered. I don't know what else I smell here. Let's read. Scent as sharp as glass shards and brittle as a broken heart, the formula came to me quite literally in a dream and is named after and created in memory of the last poem that I ever wrote almost ten years ago to the day. A blend of white champagne notes, grapefruit, lotus, slivered mint, and crystalline aquatic blooms. Okay, yeah, I get the champagne and the mint a lot. And the grapefruit. I think there's like a, a citrus mint, like, lifesaver kind of thing or something. And it smells like that. Would you be still, Kevin? Tis the voice of the lobster. To say it like that. This is from their um, tea party collection, I think is what it's called. It's all the Alice in Wonderland inspired ones. Tis the voice of the lobster, I heard him declare. You have baked me too brown, I must sugar my hair. As a duck with its eyelids, so he with his nose trims his belt and his buttons and turns out his toes. When the sands are all dry, he is gay as a lark, and will talk in contemptuous tones of the shark. But when the tide rises and sharks are around, his voice is a timid and tremulous sound. I passed by his garden and marked with one eye how the owl and the panther were sharing a pie. The panther took pie crust and gravy and meat, while the owl had the dish and its share of the treat. When the pie was all finished, the owl was a boon, and kindly permitted to pocket the spoon. While the panther received knife and fork with a growl, and concluded the banquet by dot dot dot, a woody, musky, weird-based glooping over blackberry preserves, a twisted mandarin, strawberry juice, pulverized watermelon, and a handful of smushed gardenia petals. I did not smell this one first before I read that, but that's okay, because this should be really interesting, and that poem was funny and odd. Oh gosh. Okay, I smell the blackberry and the strawberries and the pulverized watermelon and a little floral. Oh gosh, that is a, such an odd, odd smell. I love this one too. Let's see. You can go here. Oh. Kevin, get down. Mm, that smells good. It reminds me. I smell a lot of the watermelon now. It's Now it smells like um, the Lip Smackers Watermelon Lip Gloss. I love it. Love, love. Wonderland, this is Bread and Butterfly. This one should smell really cool if I remember. It smells like bread and butter. And cream. Let's see. I don't know, this isn't one I would wear necessarily because it's really odd. It says, Crawling at your feet, said the gnat. Alice drew her feet back in some alarm. You may observe a bread and butterfly. Its wings are thin slices of bread and butter, and its body is a crust, and its head a lump of sugar. And what does it live on? Weak tea with cream in it. Bread lightly buttered with weak tea, cream, and a lump of white sugar. Yes, it smells exactly like that. It go with... Wolf's heart. <sighs> what does that smell like? I know this smell. I don't know, it reminds me of a werewolf. And I'm pretty sure that the... This just says it grants courage under extreme conditions, helps overcome fear of death, and strengthen, strengthens the fortitude of artists and businessmen, enabling to further their goals. It so smells like a werewolf. I can't describe this. I have no words. It's masculine. Hold on. Clear my head. A little bit of dill. It smells like a like a dock where you would dock your boat, kind of like that rotting wood, but not in a bad way. This is dragon's bone. I did not it's very woody. There's lots of woods in there. I smell Almost pine, maybe? This says it is 
a dry, thin scent of draconic ossuary, dragon's blood resin, and with white sandalwood, dusty orris, and crisp blonde wood. There's a lot of wood smells in there. It's, it's interesting. I usually like the dragon resin kind of smell. It's kind of dark. This one's, it's pretty crisp. It is really light, so... Anyway, that's all of my Be Pal reviews for now. I will probably, most likely, definitely be doing more because I love Be Pal. Um, anyway, my favorite of the day. Mm, tie between Zombie and Tis the Voice of the Lobster, I think. Yep. I really like Tis the Voice of the Lobster. I think I'll be wearing that one a lot. Okay, I hope you guys like this. I hope you check out Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Link in the doobly-doo. And um, more videos to come soon. Bye.